In this video, I'm gonna show you how to reverse an array and a string using a for loop and then using recursion. So we have this array, or you can call this a string if you want to, and we wanna reverse it so that afterwards we get five, four, three, two, and one. And in order to do the reversal, let's pretend we have two people to help us. So we have A and B, and I'm gonna place A right here and B right here. As you can see, A goes at the beginning of the array always, so A is at index 0. And the formula for B is that you take the last index, so the last index is 4, and then 4 minus the index that A is at, so A is at 0, so 4 minus 0 is 4, and that's how you place B right there. The second step is to pin a number, and I'll show you why this works in a second, but the pin is N, let's call it N. And the formula for this pin is you take the length of the entire array. So the length of this entire array is 5 because there are 5 elements in total. So we get 5, we divide by 2. So 5 divided by 2 is going to give you 2.5. And then you also round it down. So that's what these brackets mean. And after you round it down, you're going to get 2. So index 2 is our pin. And all we have to do is look here. We have index 2 and we just pin this number right there. So A is going to tell B, hey B, let's swap these numbers. And then B says, okay, so we're going to swap 1 and 5. And then A is going to move forward. Now what happens to B? Well, again, the formula is you take the last index, which is 4, and then you minus the index that A is at. So A is at 1, so 4 minus 1 is 3. So B moves to 3. And then A tells B, hey B, let's swap again. And B says, okay, so we're going to swap 2 and 4. And then A moves forward. And then B is going to move back. So at this point, you see that A is at the pin, which means we stop the algorithm. Because as you can see, this array is now reversed. Let's do one more short example and then we'll go to the code. The first step is to put A and B on the array. So you might guess it, we put A here and then we put B right here. The second step is to place our pin. Now the length of the array is four because there are four numbers in total. So the length is four, then you divide by two and then you round it down. So four divided by two is gonna be two. And then when you round down number two, you also get number two. So our pin goes at index two, which is this number right here. Now A and B are going to play the swapping game. So A tells B, hey B, let's swap. And B says, okay, we're gonna swap one and four. And then A goes up. And then B moves down. And then A and B are going to swap again. So this time we swap 2 and 3. And then A goes up. And B goes down. Now, as you can see, A is at the pin, which means we stop because this array is now reversed. Let's write our reverse function using a for loop. So we define the reverse list loop Okay, but you can also write reverse array if you want to. And this thing takes in a list. The first step is to calculate the pin. So n is equal to length divided by 2. And you also want to round the whole thing down. So that would be int. And then you calculate the last index. So last index is equal to length l minus 1. And we have our for loop. So 4a in range going from index 0 up until our pin. We calculate the location for B, so B is equal to last index minus A, and then we swap. So temp is equal to L at A, L at A is equal to L at B, and then L at B is equal to temp. After this entire for loop, our array should be reversed, so return L. Let's test it. So we want to reverse this list, and we should get 4, 3, 2, 1. And as you can see, it produces the correct output. Now, how do you reverse a string? Well, let's do it. So define reverse string, and this thing takes in a string s. 
all we have to do is convert the string into a list so list s is equal to list and we convert it then we reverse this list so reverse list is equal to reverse list using the loop and then we just pass in the list s and we convert the reverse list back into a string so reversed string is equal to we join the list so reversed list finally we return this reverse string so return reverse string let's test it so we have the string and after we reverse it we should have cba and as you can see it produces the correct output there's actually two different ways to do the recursion and reverse a list. I'll show you the first way, which is the easy way. And then the second way is a little bit harder, but it's more efficient. So this easy reverse is going to call on a different function. Reverse list easy to. And then it's going to pass in the same list. It's also going to have an empty list in order to reverse it and then return this one. And you'll see why this works in a second. So this function will call on itself. We take this number one and then we put it into this list. So this list, we now have two and three. And then this one is going to have number one in here. And then this function falls on itself again. And this time it's going to take number two and put it in front of this list. So in this list, we only have three left. And then we put number two at the front of the list. And then this function calls on itself again. And we take this three, we put it in front of the list. The first list no longer has any numbers in it, and the second one has number 3, 2, and 1. As you can see, this list is now empty, so we must stop the recursion and return this list here. So we're going to return 3 to 1, it goes up the recursion tree, and then at the very top, the final result is going to be 3, 2, and 1, which is the reversed list. Now let me show you the second more efficient recursive solution. So we have this function, reverse list. So this function will call on a different function, reverse list2. And this time it's going to pass in the same list. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we also keep track of A and the pin, right? So A will be at the start, which is index 0. And the pin is the length divided by 2 and then round down. So the length of this thing right here is going to be 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2, rounded down is 2, so we put 2 right there. This function will call on itself, so we have, since a is at 0, a is right here, and we know that b is right here. So now they're going to do the swapping. And then we move a up, so this is the location of a, we move it up, so a is at 1, and the pin stays the same at number 2. Then this calls on itself, we know that a is at location 1, so a is right here. So B must be here, and then we're going to do the swapping. And then we move A up. So A becomes number 2, the pin is at number 2. So at this point, we see that A is at the pin, which means we have to stop the recursion and return this list right here. So when we return this list, it's going to go up the recursion tree. And finally, at the very top, the result is going to be 4, 3, 2, and 1, which is the reverse list. We define the reverse list the easy way, which takes in a list, and we return the reverse list using the easy way method number two, which takes in a list and it has an empty list. Let's write the second method. So we define the reverse list the easy way number two, which takes in a list, and we have the result list. So if this list is empty, then we return the resulting list, else, we put the first element of this list at the beginning of the result list. So basically what that is, is we have the new result, which is equal to the list at the beginning. We put it to the beginning of the result list. So plus result. But first we have to turn this into a list. So all we have to do is put brackets around it. And then we recurse again. So return reverse list easy to we move on to the next element in the list and we basically we use this new resulting list let's test it so we have this list and afterwards it should be cba and as you can see it produces the correct output finally let's write the reverse list using the hard but efficient way so we define the reverse list which takes in the list l and we return reverse list 2 which takes in l the index of 0 
and length L divided by two, but we also round it down. So we put int at the beginning, just like this. We need to write the second method. So define reverse list two. It takes in the list L, it takes in the index A and the pin N. If A is equal to N, then we return the list. Else, we find the last index, which is last index is equal to length L minus one. And then we calculate B. So B is equal to last index minus A. And then we swap A and B. So temp is equal to L A. And then L at A is equal to L at B. And then L at B is equal to temp. And then we recurse again. So return reverse list two L. We increment A and then N stays the same. Now notice that we don't move on to the next element in the list as seen in the recursive tree. So that's why here it's just L. And let's test it. So we want to reverse this list and afterwards it should be D, C, B, A. And as you can see, it produces the correct output. In the next video, I will show you how to find the minimum and the maximum in an array. So in this array, we know that the maximum is five and the minimum is one. And I'm gonna show you how to do this using a for loop and then using recursion. So I hope you guys found this helpful and enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like and also subscribe if you haven't already.